Hi, time to go on to some filtering and sorting of data. Now, I know that is very simple and I expect you to know this. Even if you don't, don't worry, we'll be looking at this in this video. So, let's suppose I have this set of a data in front of me and I have to filter this data according to region, right? So, how do you do it? How do you apply filters on the data? Select the data. How do you select the data? You press Ctrl A to select the entire set of data. Ctrl A. If you're using mouse, go on to data and click on filter. As soon as you click on filter, you will notice small drop down arrow keys will appear towards the right bottom right of the cells column heads right so that means your filter has been applied now if you want to filter this data click on this drop down arrow key and filter the data according to the desired result that you want for example i need the result only for north region so i'll uncheck everything and i'll select north and i'll click on ok so this will filter my data with only north as my region. If you want to remove the filter, click on this filter again. Easy. First step, select the data. Second step, go to the data tab. Third step, click on filter. Easy, isn't it? Now, of course, you know where I am getting people. Shortcuts. This was when I used touchpads or mouse, which we are avoiding a lot, right? So let's see how do we do the same by using shortcuts. So first step, control A to select the data. What is the shortcut to apply the filters? There are three shortcuts available. First, shift control L. As soon as you press shift Control L together, you will see the filters have been applied. To remove, press Shift Control L again. First shortcut, Shift Control L. Second shortcut, Alt A T. As soon as you press Alt A T individually, you will see the uh, filters have been applied. Want to remove it? Press Alt A T again. Two shortcuts done, guys. Third shortcut Alt D F F. Alt D F F. As soon as you press Alt D F F, you will see the filters being applied. Want to remove it? Press Alt D F F again. Simple application of filters. These three are the most widely used shortcuts. I use shift control L to make it very easy to directly apply the shortcut. And now I want to filter this data according to region I told you. But I don't want to use my mouse. So I can't take my mouse to this arrow key and press this arrow key and then select with mouse. No, 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 no. No using of mouse. How will you use a keyboard to do the same go to this region head press alt and down arrow key together alt down arrow key together it will open up the drop down menu press down arrow key to go on to select all to uncheck press space bar to uncheck press space bar now I needed the data for north. I will go to north, press spacebar again to check this and enter. So that's how I apply a filter or to filter my data according to uh, or by using the shortcuts. All right, let's have a recap. I am removing the filters. Using the shortcuts, I select my table, shift control L. To apply the filters, go on to the region, press Alt and down arrow key together. Come to select all, uncheck. Come to north, spacebar again to check north. 
and enter simple my data has been filtered down so that's how you play with filters let's clear the filters now let's suppose i want to sort this data and i want to sort this data in ascending order so i want this plastic column to appear in ascending order so how do i do that select the data first alternative to use mouse is go to data and click on this this sort all right if you don't want to use the mouse apply the filters shift control l come to this plastic press alt out and down arrow key and you will find sort smallest to largest or sort largest to smallest i need it in ascending order i click on sort smallest to largest you will notice that the plastic column has been sorted in ascending order same way if i need it in descending order i go to largest to smallest all right so that's how you apply sorting now there are two things here first custom filter and second custom sort what is that exactly let's suppose i apply some conditional formatting here or not even conditional formatting let's say i have some observations in this data and i i have highlighted certain yellow cells certain values i have highlighted in yellow based on my observations right so now i want to filter this data to show only the yellow cells how do i do that first select the tape data second apply filters third go on to this plastic column or in whatever column you have uh, colored the cells click on uh, alt down arrow key to open the drop down you will notice filter by color right and click on this yellow color so whatever colors codings you have used all colors will be appearing here right click on this yellow color and only those will appear which has yellow color all right same way if i want those yellow to appear at the top i can use sort by color so i'll click on sort by color and i click on this yellow so you will see yellow cells will appear at the top and the remaining values will appear as it is so a lot of concepts with regards to filtering and sorting of data that we have done right now you know how to apply the filters using shortcuts now you know how to how to sort the values using shortcuts how to custom sort the values how to custom filter the values i hope that is very very clear to you that wasn't difficult was it well not for me and i hope not for you so i'll see you around in the next video where we'll do further calculations on this mm -hmm.